Hey everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Today we're going to attempt to do a little switching at um, A1 Scrap and at the Texaco dis uh, Petroleum Distributor. And if that goes okay, we have another little plan to take some cars up to the potash mine. Uh, so let's see if this video works out. Our train is uh, entering the siding, going uphill here. And we are going to drop off these two gondola car empties in the uh, A1 scrap. So the first thing we need to do is disconnect from the rest of our load. So we're going to flip the switch. If you remember on the one of the videos I did, I have a hold pin there to hold the cars. So we're going to back up here and disconnect. Now we're going to pull forward and we're going to back into A1 Scrap. Okay, we've thrown switch 10. We're going to open the gate or get them to open the gate for us. And hopefully we're going to back in. And we're going to disconnect from our cars and pull forward. And we're going to stop here because we've been tasked with picking up the three Texaco cars from uh, the Texaco distributor. So we're going to throw the switch there. And we're going to back in and pick those up. And pull out. Okay, now that we've pulled out, we're going to close the gate or have them close the gate to the scrapyard. We're going to throw our switch 10 back to, I mean our, uh, our siding switch here back to its normal position, which is to the scrapyard. We are going to throw our switch 10. We're going to close it. Now we're going to back up to our train. Now we're going to release our hold pin. And now up above we're going to throw switch 5 which will get us out of the siding. And we're going to head up to the mine and we're going to drop off these mine cars. Okay, our train has arrived at the mine and we're going to disconnect from our cars. We're going to disconnect the tank cars from the hopper cars, pull them forward slightly, then we're going to disconnect from the locomotives altogether, run the locomotives around and push the hoppers in. At least that's the game plan. Okay, we're going to pull forward slightly. And we're going to drop uh, those four or those five cars. And now we're going to run the locomotives around to the back, hopefully.
Now we're heading back through switch four uh, to get on the other end of the train. We're going to close switch four and we're going to reverse directions. Now we're going to pull our string back. We're going to throw switch four and we are going to change directions again. We're also going to go up here and throw switch 9 going into the mine. That'll be good. Now we're going to disconnect from our string. We're going to back up. And we are going to pick up the string of, of uh, cars that are full. Now we're going to go get our string of cars. and we're going to reverse the procedure that we just got done doing. We're going to go and attach these to the back of our train, run the locomotives around, and we'll be on our way. And we have to close switch 9. And we're running out on 4. And we're going to stop. We're going to close switch four. And we are going to back up to our train. Now we're going to detach, run around again, and we'll be on our way. Now we're headed towards switch four, and we're going to run around our train.
and we're going to reverse and head back into our train. The Santa Fe train in the foreground has a uh, hot box. We're going to have to wait till they get that fixed and then we'll proceed downhill after we crest the summit. Okay, we're now making our way downhill and we are going to reverse the direction of the train and go into the yard and I will show you how that's done. We're going to swing the camera around. We're going to throw switch 7. And then up at the top we're going to throw switch 8. And that will in effect bring the train back uphill and change its direction. So that we can enter the yard. Now we're going to close switch 7, and now we're going to close switch 8. That puts the reversing section back to normal. Now we're going to show you how to flip the switch number 6 down here and get us into the yard. Okay, our train is coming down towards switch 6, which is the double crossover. We've thrown number six, which is going to take us to the, the uh, lead going down into the city area. And you can see here that the train is going downhill and we'll catch it when it gets down uh, coming into the city. And our train is routed towards uh, track 3 in the yard. We'll pick it up there. Okay, our train has made it safely into the yard and the locomotives will be eventually disconnected for service. Uh, the two yard locomotives will come and get the caboose and move it to the caboose track. And that is it for our switching move today. Well, I'm glad you guys stopped by today to check out the switching going on here. I haven't done a switching video in a little while and uh, I'm kind of hoping that this is my transition in from building over here to getting into switching. Uh, I'm going to do another layout, uh, another layout, another video uh, pretty soon on what's been happening over here but I'm not ready for that yet. So I hope you enjoyed the switching video and as usual 
thanks for watching.